Welcome back, fellow speculators, to the Speculator's Edge, where super performance begins and opportunities await. Uh, I'm your host, Lewis Berg. Uh, so today we're going to go over the uh, market. I'm going to give you a market recap, market update. i let you know what's going on with the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and also uh, the small caps of Russell 2000. Plus, we'll go over the uh, volatility index as well. And then we'll rotate over and I'll show you what's going on uh, institutionally where the uh, money's pouring in today. So sector rotation, industry rotation. Uh, plus we're going to go through the charts that uh, recap on the charts or the stocks that uh, I talked about in my videos uh, this week. So uh, this video won't be too long. Uh, we're going to hop to it. But if you haven't already subscribed, please do and uh, click on the TSE logo on the bottom right hand corner of this video. Uh, so like the video, leave a comment, please. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to help. And I want to thank you for your support. Before we do dive in though, this video is for educational purposes only. So uh, do your due diligence before venturing off into stocks. It's your duty to take responsibility for your own actions. Okay, so let's go ahead and move into the uh, Dow Jones Industrial first and let's see what's happening with this stock here or with this, with this indice here. We still are in a major uptrend here. The bull market remains intact. Uh, we did have an accumulation day today, uh, which was uh, nearly two times the distribution, which is good to see. Not only that, my uh, uptrend pressure ratio has alleviated. It has decreased in, uh, in numbers, so or in, in the number, uh, which is good to see. It uh, is kind of confirmation that this uptrend is remaining intact and that it is healthy. Uh, also, the all-time highs list has remained consistent, so that's good to see when we see stocks uh, reaching all-time highs. That's letting us know that uh, there is still buying and demand for those alpha, for those high alpha stocks. Okay, those stocks that are doing really well, the leaders in the market. Okay, so uh, we do remain in this uptrend. Uh, hopefully, we we did catch on this 20-day uh, moving average. Uh, hopefully it'll push past next week and we can get up to that $34,800 level on the Dow Jones. Uh, so with the S&P 500, uh, had a good day as well, but it didn't uh, eclipse that $4,249 level. Hopefully next week we can do that. We can reach that level and uh, have some good accumulation again, okay? So uh, let's go on to the uh, NASDAQ real quick and let's see what's going on. The NASDAQ has been doing extremely well this week. Uh, we did push uh, decent today, 0.35%, not great, but still it is pushing and it's still moving upwards. So that uptrend is remaining intact. Uh, hopefully we can get up to that uh, $14,200 uh, and $211 level. <coughs> Excuse me. So. Other than that, uh, these uh, growth, uh, high growth stocks here are doing great IPOs. Okay, uh, more your probably biotechnology, your technology, or your healthcare and your technology uh, sectors are doing great. So let's move on to uh, to the S&P uh, 600 small cap, more the Russell 2000, your small caps. Uh, great day for that. Uh, these stocks are coming back. It is bouncing off that 10 day moving average right here. Uh, hopefully by next week we can eclipse that $1,417 level. Just be aware though that we're still at inflection points with the market here. Um, it, uh, you, you need to be careful when trading. So <clears throat> use your, your, your risk management uh, properly. Uh, obey thy, uh, thy stops and uh, not only that, position size properly as well when you're going into uh, next week, trading in the next week. So uh, small caps looking great here. So there is some, uh, there still is some risk taking going on. Uh, also uh, the VIX, the volatility index, uh, made a uh, it didn't make a new 52 week low, but it did touch that $15 and 15, uh, 15 cent level there on the low, which is uh, less volatility coming into this market. That's good to see. So the fear gauge is not, uh, it's not, you know, rising. So not too much fear within this market, but it could actually turn and uh, it could get brutal next week or in the next two weeks. Don't know. We're not in the, uh, 
predicting or forecasting uh, market we're not weathermen so uh, we don't do that because if you do then uh, you're liable to get your head chopped off and get uh, yeah yeah you'll injure yourself pretty well on that so um, let's uh, let's go through and let's see what uh, the uh, sector rotation where we're at with that um, looks like uh, technology is doing well um, we have Industrials doing well, so uh, healthcare, of course, still doing great here. Uh, financials have picked up a little bit. Uh, matter of fact, that's doing really good. This is still a well rounded market, uh, pretty broad sector wise. That's good to see as we're pushing towards new highs within the markets or within the indices. Um, let's go see what industries uh, are strong here. So we're looking at uh, at the software. Software looks great again. It's been like that all week. Uh, pharmaceuticals looking great as well. Uh, some medical equipment, not bad. Um, let's see here. Uh, a little bit of exploration and production in the energy sector. Um, Looking at biotechnology, biotechnology stocks doing great here as well. Uh, still a beast. Uh, banks are doing good as well and asset managers. So we're really looking at, uh, and also airlines are coming back. So that's good to see. Um, really start, uh, keep swimming in uh, uh, technology, uh, in the uh, technology sector and the healthcare sector. Uh, so stay within the software industry and the, uh, the biotechnology and pharmaceutical uh, industries as well. So banks are coming alive as well, not for sure really as to what's going on with that. Maybe yields are starting to pick up again, uh, not for sure uh, on that. But uh, other than that, uh, just swim in biotechnologies and software and pharmaceuticals and uh, you'll, be, you'll be doing okay for the time being. Uh, let's see, um, let's go and recap on the, uh, the stocks of this week that uh, I showed on my videos here. Let's see what's happening here. Uh, APAM is holding that $53.50 level, that super pivot right there. So that's good to see. Uh, I did make a higher high than, uh, than yesterday, so that is good to see. Um, also, uh, the Axos Financial, it uh, breached that $49.09 level, but uh, it didn't really hold it through the week. But it is holding this day right here. It is holding the low of that, which is good to see. So it's holding that, uh, that moving average, that 10-day moving average. We do want to see that. Hopefully, maybe next week we can get a good push through that and uh, move up to 52-week uh, highs. Um, BMTC not doing so great moving down uh, this stock will probably fail at this low of this day right here which will probably be at around you know uh, 4450 or so if it breaks down from there uh, yeah I, I would just leave the trade alone but the volume is slacking off right here as it moves down that's a good sign maybe next week we can uh, get back and uh, move through that super pivot <coughs> at $48.26, and <coughs> excuse me. Also, uh, <coughs> CDNA is doing uh, excellent right uh, right now. Uh, we did uh, breach that super pivot at $82 and has moved up to uh, a high of this week of $93.71, so that's great to see. Kind of had just a little down day today. Uh, nothing nothing out of the ordinary uh, this one if you bought it uh, keep a hold of it it's doing well we do have good volume pumping in through here so uh, this stock looks still looks promising um, Sava that was today of course the super pivot was breached at 6250 but uh, it did have a great day with the uh, with the volume um, it's also ending up above that $76.10 level, so maybe next week we might get a, another follow through with that to the upside, or it might just come, uh, it might reverse to the downside. If it cracks at 63.39, then just get ready because we'll probably go down to that 50 day moving average. Uh, like I said, it's all about risk management. Just keep yourself, uh, 
keep yourself protected, okay? Uh, you gotta have the cash to uh, trade and make money. Um, this one here, the Super Pivot was breached at $226.95. Um, we did break through uh, the uh, yesterday, and of course, this is a chart that I annotated yesterday, and we are moving through. We did have some follow through in this stock, which is good to see. So hopefully, we can get up to that two hundred fifty-one dollars and twenty-eight cents level there. So that's excellent to see. Duluth Trading. Uh, this was on Monday, I'm pretty sure, as uh, when I introduced it. Uh, it's at uh, it's at $17.47, so it is holding that super pivot, which was at $17.35. That's good to see. We do have volume slacking off as it does uh, pull back a little bit, so maybe this one will uh, will jump next week. We'll see what happens. Also, GSL, it was great. This was great right here. It did hold the super pivot and it didn't pull back. It actually took off, uh, had a good day uh, yesterday and took off uh, today. So making 52-week uh, highs on really good volume, tons of volume here. There is uh, institutional buying, as you can see. That's, that's really good to see. So excellent RS line making new highs as well on that. Uh, Harvard Biosciences is holding the super pivot at $7.53. As long as it remains to hold that level, now hopefully next week it'll, uh, it'll move up. We'll get that push upwards. If not, if it breaks down, uh, look at this level at $6.79 uh, $6 at this low. If it breaks through that, uh, yeah, this one you can say goodbye to. Okay. Uh, LDL did hold, uh, did hold this day as well. So. Uh, we did have massive volume or a really good buying demand on that. Uh, hopefully, we can get back up to that uh, that super pivot point at around uh, 39.39 and uh, hold that level next week. So, if not, if it breaks down, breaks through that handle, then uh, breaks down to the downside, we could probably say it'll go down to the 200-day moving average or that 150-day moving average. So, um, also the uh, opium pharmaceuticals. <clears throat> didn't end too well today. Uh, I was hoping that it would uh, actually hold that $13.75 level. It didn't, but uh, maybe uh, next week it'll come back because there is decent demand right here within this uh, within this stock. Uh, PMD, of course, awesome right here. This is just really a nice tight range. And uh, when I introduced it, it was there uh, on this stick here and of course moves up and breaks out and is moving to uh, 52 week highs up 10.29 percent great stock high volume uh, this one's looking great okay so uh, Signet Jewelers another great day right here with this one uh, nice volume follow through with that uh, it didn't breach the the 52 week highs at 74.80 but as long as it holds that super pivot and uh, moves we don't want to see that that gap filled uh if it does fill and it comes down here cracks through that 50 day moving average expect it to uh expect it to get a little volatile here okay or volatile if it does that but hopefully we can keep moving up or maybe just a little consolidation right here and then move up okay within the next uh few weeks or a week or two um also tilray uh not so great did pull back right here but it did hold the super pivot, which is at $19.57, which closed at $19.89. Maybe we'll get a turnaround next week and it'll move up. Volume did uh, did decrease as that sell-off went, so that's good to see. Short-term traders probably just taking uh, short-term profits. That's okay. So uh, VNTR, strong day, awesome right here. Holding that super pivot at five dollars and twenty cents, uh, we closed at five dollars and twenty-four cents. Um, so maybe next week, huge volume here, huge demand. Uh, hopefully, this one can uh, take off as well next week. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, it'll crack that five dollars and forty-eight cents level and make fifty-two week highs uh, next week. And Zoom uh, communication, Zoom video. Awesome right here. This one uh, cracked that downtrend line, and not only that, volume followed through today. So this was introduced today as well, and uh, this is this is doing great. Now the super pivot was around three three hundred fifty-seven dollars and forty uh, forty cents, and uh, yeah, it's holding. 
and doing pretty well. So hopefully that will take off uh, next week as well. It'll follow through. Zscaler, of course, followed through as well, just like CrowdStrike. Uh, cracked that super pivot, held it, and uh, at $199.77, uh, today it's closed at $207.79. So uh, hopefully we can get a run up to around this $230 level here uh, next week or within the uh, following two weeks or so. Okay, so that's it. Just to recap on those stocks, uh, I hope you, uh, before we get off here, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, found, found it informative and educational. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already uh, and let me know what you think. Drop me a comment. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to help. So, uh, also, thank you again for watching this video and subscribing to and supporting my channel uh, and TSE. So uh, thank you again for watching and here at TSE we trade in the present, uh, we study the past for knowledge and uh, we, uh, we follow the process of trading to build our future. So thank you again and uh, opportunities await my friends. Y'all have a, a great weekend too, so don't party too hard.